Hey guys, I'm so glad you made your way back to my channel. Sorry, not a great way to start the video. <laughs> um, um, that was a text, my apologies. Okay, back to the task at hand. Focus, Shannon, focus. Um, I'm just quickly going to go through a Bath and Body Works Flam Flamingo Beach three wick candle review. Um, I had no intentions on reviewing this, I'll be honest. I am going through candles real quick lately and I just can't keep up with myself. I can't review them all. Um, but this one is at the halfway mark. So I feel like that's a good, it's like the perfect chance to give you guys an honest review, right? Because we see all these people doing Bath and Body Works candle reviews on YouTube. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't always want to see like a first, second, third, fourth burn because yeah, it's all roses and sunshine at that point. But we all know, or most of us know that with Bath and Body Works candles, when you hit the midway, midway point or just past, things tend to go downhill, which is really heartbreaking because if you really were enjoying that candle, the first half, it's... Uh, it's a bummer when you've spent that money and then it goes downhill and sometimes to the point that you don't even want to burn it, as I'm sure some of you know. Anyway, little side rant there about the halfway point issues. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm at or just about to pass the halfway mark, I would say right about now. I'm going to guess this is like a sixth or seventh burn, maybe even eighth. And I say that because I've gotten pretty strict with myself when I burn Bath and Body Works candles. I really try not to let burn them for more than three hours at a time. So having said that, if I'm chilling at home, say on a Saturday, reading a good book, um, I stick to it, but I will light it and burn it for somewhere between two to three hours and blow it out and relight it later. I've also been very strict with myself about keeping these wicks tight and clean. Um, I have been trimming them slash removing the mushroom tops. Um, pretty, I've been, I've been very dedicated to that with this candle. Sometimes I, I let that slide a little bit, especially if I'm afraid of the whole puny wick syndrome happening um, because this candle has, spoiler alert, performed so well I kind of want to be as strict as I can and because I haven't had the puny wick issue I've been fine to trim the wicks so while we're on that topic um, first I just want to quickly mention Bath and Body Works description of Flamingo Beach they say pink summer berries juicy orange dewy white petals now I was looking for reviews on this candle before I purchased it, before I even smelled it in store to see if I would even want to smell it in store. Um, and when other people read those notes to me, I was thinking it would be sort of like the berry spritzer of this past winter um, and sort of like a Victoria's Secret... Uh, love spell I want to say dupe everyone taught everyone compared those um just hearing about summer berries and orange I don't know why I was kind of thinking it would smell like the berry spritzer did it doesn't really to be honest I'm going to give a really annoying description of this and it's going to be annoying because it's going to be vague but I'm just going to be honest because that's who I am to me this candle is a sweet, soft, not in a weak way, in a good way. So a sweet, soft, fruity floral. Yes, I know that was annoying. It was very general, but that's just how I feel. Um, as many of you know, I'm not a floral fragrance fan. This is a good enough blend and the floral is sort of soft enough that I'm okay with it. Would I say it's a fruity candle? No, I would say it's a very well-rounded, balanced candle. I can't say it's a fruity candle. I can't say it's a floral candle. It's just a really well-balanced spring-summer fragrance. And that's just the honest, that's the truth. So as far as performance goes, I did give y'all a spoiler. <laughs> 
um, let me just move the camera here so you can see the top of the candle. It's great, guys, honestly. Now there's a little black in there. That's more than likely my fault um, because I do lift the candle, tilt it sideways, and light it with like a cigarette lighter. So um, sometimes black gets on the inside of the jar. I do try to wipe it right away when I see it, but obviously I don't give too much concern to it. So yeah, wicks have been great. Wax pool has been great. No discoloration, guys. None really at all. The wax is still white. And I think you can see, um, this hasn't fully pulled out yet. So down here is like the wax pool, right? And this is like the cold, colder wax. Um, I am at the true halfway point or like just past, like so close guys. Okay. Now talk about beautiful. This is not something I usually go on about like packaging and whatever. I'm going to trim the light off or one of the lights off here. So you can see the full effect how pretty guys it's giving me vibes of the iridescent um jars the wraparound jars of um this past winter let me turn the candle here like how beautiful it's so pretty let me get it back to the front here that bad boy is hot I, I'm doubting that you can see the words on the label at this point, but that's okay, because I just wanted you guys to see how pretty that is. Um, the Blue Ocean Waves that was in this collection was was equally as beautiful. I, I don't think I did a review of that. I may have. I don't remember. <laughs> My apologies. Um, but same sort of thing. You know, as you burn it down, it just got prettier and prettier, so it was worth mentioning strength and throw so that i can let you guys get on with your day okay strength i'm going to give it an eight it, it's for a quote and i'm quoting myself here <laughs> you know fresh soft fruity floral um it's strong for that type of scent fruity scents can sometimes be strong floral scents can sometimes be strong but I also find that a lot of them are not. Um, but in this case, I cannot complain about the strength. I'm gonna give it an eight for throw. I'm gonna give it a nine. And I do not say that lightly. This bad boy pretty much, even when I have other scents going in other rooms, my whole place, I can smell Flamingo Beach. And I'm not complaining, I am not hating it. So yes, strength an eight, I'd give the throw a nine. Would I repurchase? Yeah, I totally would. Is it my favorite spring summer candle? No. Do I absolutely love it? No. Do I really like it? Yeah. Would I repurchase? For sure. I would, I, it would be one of those candles that I would probably buy one for every season. So one a year, one for every spring summer. Loving it guys. Really, I, I, I just said I didn't love it, but I really liked it. So I shouldn't say that I love it. I really like it. <laughs> um, if you're sitting on the fence on this one, I would recommend trying it. You can always return it if it's uh, if you don't really like it or if it's not performing well, which is one thing that I love about Bath and Body Works. So that's that, guys. I'm not going to keep you any longer. I hope this was helpful. Feel free to like my video and to subscribe to my channel if you like this sort of content. Thanks so much for spending some time with me, guys. And as usual, I really hope you're having a wonderfully scented day. Bye, guys.